Here are your morning news dispatches for June 26th, 1947, brought to you by our Patreon page. If you would like to follow World War II in chronological order in real time through the newspaper and radio, follow us on Patreon. The link is in the comments to this video. And now the news. Detroit, Michigan, June 25th. More than 32,000 workers in the automobile industry will be laid off, many of them for two weeks because of steel shortages. The current coal mine walkouts are said to be aggravating the steel shortage. The Chrysler Corporation announced tonight that approximately 20,000 workers would be affected by a layoff at the end of this week. Briggs Manufacturing Company reported it would be forced to lay off 8,500 at the end of Friday shifts because of the shortage of rolled steel for auto bodies. Nash Calvinator Corporation will shut down for two weeks for vacations and inventory starting Monday. About 4,240 of the Companies, 5,300 employees here will be affected. A spokesman for the General Motors Corporation said its employees would continue their regular working schedules except for the July 4th holiday. Washington, June 25th. Senator Taft, Republican Ohio, told 400 housing advocates from 23 states at a Fight for Housing rally here today that he believes long range housing legislation can be put through the Senate before Congress adjourns next month. He he said that when House and Senate leaders meet next week to lay out a program, he is hopeful of an agreement that will mean enactment of some sort of housing program. Taft implied, however, that the program he is backing, embodied in the so-called wagner ellender taft bill, might have to be modified considerably to win House acceptance. A similar bill passed the Senate in the 79th Congress but was bottled up in the House. The goal of the measure is construction of 15 million million homes during the next 10 years at an estimated cost to the government of $7.5 billion. The plan calls, among other things, for the building of 500,000 dwelling units during the next four years under a public housing program subsidized by the government. Lake Success, New York, June 25th. Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, and Albania, Russia's Balkan satellites, are condemned as supporters of guerrilla warfare against Greece by eight of the 11 members of a United Nations investigating commission in their report to the Security Council released today. The Russian member, however, strongly objects both to the commission's assessment of guilt and to its recommendations, which call for a border control commission and other measures to restore peace on Greece's northern frontiers. Thus, the work of the UN's six-month-old Balkans inquiry may be nullified by a Soviet veto in the Security Council. Council. Moscow, June 25th. Pravda said today the Marshall Plan for European recovery would be doomed to failure if it were patterned after the Truman Doctrine and asserted the Russians wanted no part of any American aid that might be interpreted as infringing on the sovereignty of other countries. The Communist Party paper charged the Marshall Program was influenced by a desire to prolong the post-war boom in the United States and to lessen the ripening economic crisis in America. America. It indicated, however, that Russia might be interested in American financial aid, provided no strings were attached. Pendleton, Oregon, June 25th. A pilot of a private plane who arrived here today from Yakima, Washington, said he saw something strange in the air yesterday while flying near Mount Rainier and insisted what he saw consisted of at least nine units strung out over five miles and traveling at a speed he calculated to be 1,200 miles per hour. He is Kenneth Arnold, age 32, of Boise, Idaho, who uses a plane in his work as a salesman. He said he encountered the mystery objects while he was north of Mount Rainier, headed southeast from Tacoma and bound for Yakima. He said he was flying at 9,200 feet altitude and that the objects, an estimated 25 miles from him when he first saw them, were traveling almost due south at about 10,000 feet altitude. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell. If you would like to follow World War II through the news and pop culture in chronological order, don't forget to follow us on Patreon. A link is in the comments to this video. You just heard your morning news dispatches for June 26, 1947. My name is Henry Chop. Have a swell day.